Hello everyone, it's me Ash here on Nerd Life playing some more Baldur's Gate. As you can see, I'm in a tavern in the confines of the city of Nashkill. Now, some stuff has happened since the last episode. I made the mistake of entering the town looking for a way to revive my companions that were dead. And I ended up launching into a whole other bit of stuff. So, as you can see, I've got a new character over here. Let's introduce him. I look forward to your his name is Rasad. And if you look at his thing, he is a monk. And that means he is a fist-using character. And he can't wear armor. Unless it's like a monk-specific armor that says four monks. As you can see, if I go to his, his armor stuff, he's got these boots only. That's the only thing he has on. It's a moonlight walkers. And as you can see, it says, These comfortable boots provide monks of the sun's soul, etc., etc. And it says, Usable by lawful good human monks. So, there are special armor pieces for monks. But other than those, I you can't wear armor. And you have a yeah, minus right to, you can use certain small weapons, but you have a minus to their hits. So you it's pointless to use anything but your fists. Uh, he has an ability for a stun. If you punch people with it, it will stun them. So that's cool. Uh, what else happened? Um, there might have been some story. I don't really remember. All I know is we've got all of our party back. Oh, yeah. Uh, I believe when we... Uh, if you look over here, this is our friend Visonia. And when we invited the monk to our party, she was snippy about it because he's lawful good and she's lawful evil or neutral evil or whatever she is. And also, we had to eject one of our party members because the party limit is six in order to actually get the monk into the party so I went ahead and got rid of her because I figured it was going to be an issue later on I think we might be able to talk to her and get her back let's see what she says So yeah, that gave me the option yeah. to get her back well, on the group, but we're going to leave her there. I'm not sure if she stays in that place, cause, or if she goes somewhere else. I'm guessing she stays there. You haven't seen a man about um, this tall and oh, this wide, have you? That lout. Huh. Okay, so... Uh, actually, I went and talked to the mayor, I believe, and he was like, Oh, help us. Thank you for coming. You're badass. And I was like, Thanks. Thanks, bro. That was pretty much the end of it. Oh, yeah, I forgot we need to identify this thing. Uh, we should go to... What is this? Nashville Store? Helm? Actually, what happened, I believe we already had our party revived. We're going to have to find a temple. Now, one thing uh, that happened was... Oh, that's what happened. It was... We went into the inn, and some jerk bounty hunter came up to us and wanted to kill us. So we had to fight her, and she was ridiculous. She killed, like, three party members after I just revived them. So, I'm absolutely broke. If you take a look at my gold, I have one gold piece because I had to pay... It was like... It came up to about 500 gold pieces to revive the first time and the second time. And then I had to sleep a couple times to get everybody to full health. It was, it was nuts. So, we're going to have to get to work on our gold intake. Right, so, we're going to have to slowly walk... Around. We need to figure out what's going on uh, in Nashville because the iron is an issue. There's gonna we have to so we have to go eventually f find our way to the mines and see what's uh, causing th the miners to disappear, and also see if we can figure out why the mine. What's this? Ray, who's 
who said, this damn game will be the death of me. Aw, I bet he died. What is this? Belching Dragon Tavern. Let's go in here and see if anything happens. This guy's coming. No, no, he's not. What's this over here? Yeah, I'll get right on that. Bouncer has not. Oh, he's a bouncer. Okay. I got some cheap beer for ya. If the mine production slows any more, we'll all be in the boarhouse. So, what do you like to drink? All right. So if you buy a beer, you get rumors, which will give you sort of hints about where to go, what to do in certain areas, etc. Unfortunately, we have no money for that. Who's this? This guy looks like he's got a beret on. I need, need to talk to him. Uh, oh. Yes, the uh, a tab. Um, another ale, young miss. I'll be sure to have your funds ready. Greetings, fellow traveler, for I see you, you see by your garb that you do not call this place home. Sit with me a while and enjoy the atmosphere of this fine fair while we recant tales of lands far and far-seeming. I have wondered the width and the breadth of Faroon, but yet, yet have I to find such hospitality as that of a simple country festival. It's a shame that the festivities are marred by the events of the recent, though they certainly put up a brave face, do they not? You look confused, so perhaps you know not of the local trouble of that continues to vex the most gracious people of Nashkel. If you have just arrived, I could, for the price of an ale and an ear, relate what I know. Shall I tell you of their mining difficulties, or relate the tale of their unfortunate commander of the guard? The word is that all across the expansive sword coast, from the cloud peaks to Baldur's Gate, an ore shortage is severely crippling local trade. Bandits, reportedly both human and demi-human, raid caravans whilst ore reaching its destination becomes brittle and useless following smelting, strangely affected by an odd iron-weakening plague. As though this were not cause for alarm in itself, production of the mines outside of the Nashville have fallen, with the substantially, substantially lower yield being blamed on nervous workers. Mysterious disappearances of several miners have set the whole area on edge, where something must shift the balance of one side or the other. Would you consent to another tale? I also have interest in the story of the Captain of the Guard. Just let me finish my drink, and then we can carry on this conversation through the wee hours of our tales. Blah, 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 okay? I have a story for every man, woman, and child in Fairrun. I... The copyright laws forbid me the telling... I hear the Commander Bragg of the Amish Guard has been missing for some weeks now following a strange alteration, alteration in his behavior. Where once he was a well-thought-of family man, he now turned into senseless mayhem, affecting a rampage like the, the likes of which I have never heard. His fellow soldiers noted nothing out of sorts that could trigger such a transformation, but one notable item seems relevant. If not for the iron shortage, it would be it would have gone unnoticed, but prior to his mad raids, the commander procured a new sword. The importance of this information I have no way of verifying. I have heard of much of the common rumors that is street outside. Your tale is but a long winded version. An interesting story to be sure. Well met, Volo, and good luck on your journeys. Would you consent to another tale? There's no cause to be rude. It would be good for you to leave. Oh, I was a dick to him for no reason. I thought maybe he would be like, oh, I'll tell you more since you're not impressed with my tales. But he didn't. He was just offended. I need some help. All right, let's uh, let's see. Let's get out of here. I think that's pretty much all. You can sort of tell who's worth talking to if they have like a special Talk skin like or model to them. The rest of the people. There's something evil in the mines, I tell you. Several girls here in town have lost good husbands to that evil place, yet they keep sending new men to work there. I don't know what's going on, but I think it'd be really good if a bunch of you went down there and took a look to see. You know what? I think we're going to do that, because I'm really in the mood to fuck shit up. I'm going to search through your things. I got six gold pieces in my pocket.
I'm 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 hunting. Looking for some mama. <laughs> this is fucking awful. And there you go. You're welcome. You're welcome for that. You're welcome for that little tidbit of excellence. I've no time for to talk to you now. All right, buddy. Farmer, I'll not go near places the dead walk. Leastwise, not since my uncle was possessed. He came out of a dungeon slathering mad, and the cleric and his group had not the experience to dispel the evil from his mind. It was a prayer to hold him still that left freedom, but he'll not go near another ruin. Cows. Cow has nothing to say to you. Well, son of a bitch. Just like all the other cows. You think it's it's Valentine's Day? Cows would be like, okay with talking to me just to make me feel better. Nope. Not a damn thing to say to me. Rude. 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 Just mooing all over the fucking place. We have done absolutely nothing this episode except for walk around this town. It's alright though. These people lock their houses, man. They are paranoid. Hey. Paranoid. Hi, I'm Nuber. Nice place, huh? So hey you so you oh god. That hey Oh Jesus. Get no, leave me alone. You leave me alone, Nuber, you son of a bitch. Hey ya. Come on. Come on, man. Hey ya. Oh god. Oh god. Get out of here. He's chasing us. He's chasing. He is really coming after us here. <laughs> leave me the fuck alone, Nuber. What are you doing? Oh god. Oh jeez. I think we lost him. <laughs> It'd be so funny if we went to the mines. We started. Oh God! Shit! He found us, and he 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 shows up like an hour into it. Oh hey, Nashville mines are ready to f go. Nashville mines. Oh shit! Well, hail and well met, traveler. Well, that's the nicest thing anyone has called me in weeks. We should kill that one last, Senjak. Such good manners. No, no, there's no reason for this to turn violent. Hand over your belongings and you may yet live. You should listen to Senjak, friend. Perhaps you've noticed our associates who are even now aiming their arrows at your hearts. Raise a hand against us and they'll cut you down. <coughs> Empty your pockets in. What's going on back there? This... This is impossible. Shit is getting real. Who is this badass? Saint Jack! Toratia! I swore I would crush the life out of you someday. Today is that day. Dorn. You should be dead or rotting in a Luskin prison. How did you find us? I'm happy to see you, Dorn. Leaving you behind to take the blame was all Simeon's idea. He's the one you want, not us. Just following orders is a coward's excuse, Dorothea. And I haven't forgotten what you said when I refused your advances. What advances? She would never consort with a half-orc, especially when she has me. You haven't changed, Dorn. You're as stupid as you're ugly. Senjak was the first to agree with Simeon. He always hated you. But you know, I didn't feel the same way. Dorothea, what are you saying? Ah, the rules, of course. But the half-breed brute is too stupid for that to work. Men, rush them. Man, she wanted that half-orc dick. You are both mewling cowards, turning on each other as easily as you turned on me. Half your men are already dead. You'll join them soon. Hell yeah. It didn't have to be this way. We've beaten you before, Dorn. We'll do it again. I kicked him in the head till he was dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? What the fuck? Who was that? I liked it. I liked it. 
a lot. All right, let's uh, get going here. So we've got Emma Win. It's gonna die. That's the first order of business. Uh, we're gonna use some magical spells. Uh huh. This magic missile on this guy here. I will show you. Boom. Now let's actually move these guys. Winning. winning, winning. You mm. handled yourself well enough. As a rule, I do not rely on those who fight beside me. Perhaps you may prove an exception to the rule. My name is Dornil Khan, and I was settling an old score. I've been hunting those two for almost a year now. That's two down and two to go. My powers are none of your concern, unless you are looking for a strong arm to join you. Wait, are you...? Hmm. I've heard of your prowess. Traveling with you might help my vendetta, and my powers could certainly help you. My former companions betrayed me, and left me to rot in a Luskin prison. I've spent the last year tracking them down after Senjak and Dorothea. There are two left. Very wise. We shall cut a bloody swath across the Sword Coast. Who should we remove? Maybe the monk's sort of useless, to be honest. Go right. We have none of this. It is shameful. Uh, he's going back somewhere. Uh, let's see. Let's check this guy's. Shut your mouth. I think he's probably evil or something here. Blackguard. Um. Most powerful vanquished. Oh, I like that. Tells you who they killed. Who's the most powerful. Um. Where the hell is his alignment at? Yeah, he has to be evil. Uh, so next episode, we'll probably have our monk back. Just to keep the black guard out of it. And we'll then venture on... Yeah, I'll get right on that. ...to the mines. Alright, well... We've got some stuff to do in between episodes. But next episode, we're going to head to the, the actual mines. And... Get our uh, get our murder on, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna replace the new guy, Dorn, with our old guy, the monk, and then we'll get our all good or slash neutral party and go to the mines and just figure out what's going down. What is it? What is going down with the iron? Is someone, you know, peeing on it? I don't. I don't really know what could possibly ruin iron, but we're going to figure it out. And then we're going to kill whatever the problem is. It doesn't matter if it's a person or if it's an inanimate object, we're going to kill it. We're going to kill it until it's dead, and that's going to be that. So until next time, this has been Ash here on Nerd Life. 
playing some more Baldur's Gate. Stay tuned for the next episode where we continue our tale. And until next time, play on, players. Oh, 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 o